Mark your calendars and join us for Malcolm Media's premier ag industry events this November featuring grower seminars with continuing education credits and an industry trade show. You don't want to miss them. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine, reporting to you here today with Billy Sink from Project Apis, also author of our Pollination Points in Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. He's here today to talk about pollination. Growers sometimes may be concerned with the spring rains that often do come and how that might affect pollination and the efficacy of their bees in the orchard. Here's Billy to address that. Rain can impact pollination uh, just in a practical sense of the, the beekeeper getting their hives into the orchard. If it's a muddy floor, uh, tractors do get stuck, uh, vehicles do get stuck. Um, but also if there's a lot of rain or fog during almond bloom, that can really affect the flight hours. So flight hours is, is something that everyone is looking for, growers especially, during the pollination. And that's when your two hives per acre really comes into play and is very necessary because um, if it's very great weather, maybe those two icebreaker isn't necessarily needed. But when you do get rain events and fog, you need as many bees flying as possible all at once. So uh, rain can, and bad weather can reduce the amount of flight hours. So the bees in the rain, they just they just are less active. Yeah, if it, if it's if it's colder temperatures, if it's very foggy, if, it, if it's drizzling to raining, bees won't fly. So you might get uh, only a couple hour window of nice weather every day during a storm. And you really need that, that workforce, that bee workforce out on the, the, the landscape pollinating as many trees as possible in that short amount of good weather window. Thank you, Billy. Well, good luck with almond pollination this year and be sure to read about it in Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm. CaliforniaAgnet.com